Hello everyone, my name is Teresa Conrath and I'm the Athletic Director at Marathon High School. To give you a little background about me, in 1993 I moved to Marathon where I married my husband Greg Conrath. This is where I started my family and I call it home. I absolutely love the fact that I moved to Marathon and had the opportunity to work at this school for 27 years as a teacher and 12 years as an athletic director. I'm pleased to be able to serve the kids and the community. It was my passion. The new subject now is the sports complex. And that's an interesting story simply because it started out as a running track. We were offered a simple running track here and that wasn't good enough for our kids. So it took a lot of talking, it took a lot of convincing. It came about when I had a couple of kids walk into this office and say, hey, can we start a track team? And I said, well, that's gonna be impossible because you need all of these little items and certain areas that you need to practice in and you know we can start it out in the cross-country area because of course we had great cross-country runners but what about the sprinters and what about the field events well we did it we went our first year to a district meet and we won the meet another phenomenal memory is when the girls soccer team went to the final four we were lucky enough to host that game here at marathon we had 849 tickets sold that night. The biggest part that I enjoyed was the fact that both of my daughters, Taylor and Sydney, played on the team. And watching that team come together, coached by Cindy and Chris Bull, was absolutely amazing. As I close my career as athletic director, there are quite a few people that I want to thank. These guys were a big part of why I had success for the last 12 years. I want to begin with Louis Gonzalez, Spook Rusin, and the entire Booster Club, John and Sandy Groughton. Also, Mike Pudo. Mike Pudo and Kay Graddick. Kay Graddick was my biggest supporter. She was a female, and she loved the fact that I was a female in a man's job. She was absolutely amazing. Every word that came out of her mouth was positive and, and just for the kids. And I kind of looked at her as a mentor also, simply because she was such a wonderful person. Now Mike Pudo has been a big supporter too. He's in charge of the Athletic Alumni Club. There are many things that Mike does for our school that is along the lines of just finding it and making it happen. He's responsible for a lot of the travel when we go to the next levels. Mike, I love you and I think you're absolutely amazing and I wanna say thank you to you. My trainer, Louis Leal, my best friend on campus, my best friend always. No matter what happened, no matter what went on, he was always there to either pick me up, brush me off, or walk along beside me. All of the administration, I want to start with John Pertner who hired me, Harry Russell, Fred Culvert, as well as my favorite, Wendy McPherson. I want to say thank you to you guys because you listened to what I had to say and you let me do my job like I needed to. Thank you so much for your support and for your trust. Most of all, I want to say thank you to this community. This community has been my number one backers from day one. They know that I'm going to go do the job. Every element in this community has helped out. I can't even begin to say thank you to everyone individually because there's so many of you. There's another couple in town that I want to say thank you to, and that is Jim and Arlene Keeney for all of the support you've given me. Jim, thank you for allowing me to come over and guiding me. I appreciate everything that you've done for me. And let me not forget the Sayer family. Ginger Sayer, without the work that you have done with the Seven Mile Bridge Run, there's no way this program could continue the way it is. Ginger, Maggie, Bobby and Chuck Bayless, Denise and Chris, you guys are amazing. There's a whole nother group of people that I need to recognize, and that is all the faculty members that I have worked with. Thank you so much to all of you for supporting the schedules that I've put out to you, for supporting the kids that have missed your classes, for supporting all the kids that just needed your help. Tina, thank you for supporting the athletic department and getting those kids going. Thank you to all my coaches. My coaches are the most amazing part of my job. And with that being said, I want to show you my favorite award. This award was given to us because we were the best 
athletic department in both 3A and 4A high schools in the state. This award isn't for me. This award says volumes about the team that I work with, and that is all my coaches that have come through and have done their jobs with their kids. This says you're the best, and they are. I feel that Lance is the best selection for the entire program. I'm looking forward to what he can do with the program, and I'm excited to be able to work with him. Well, it is a lot of big shoes to fill. She's been a very successful athletic director and coach for the last 12 years. She's taken this program uh, to the next level in many different aspects when it comes to getting her kids to states and her own coaching with basketball. And, uh, you know, I'm just hopeful to be as successful as she was and uh, continue to lead this athletic program, especially with the new facilities we have coming to the next level. This is Tina Bellotti. <laughs> Tina and I started in this school years ago when it was the old school. And she's another one that has a daughter that works here at school and we see that legacy carried on. Tina is an intricate part of all of our students' lives. Just take a pan around, look at the prom dresses. She brings those prom dresses in for the kids. She feeds them, she clothes them. She does a wonderful job, she counsels them. Tina is the root to a lot of success that our kids have. This is my best friend. He's been my best friend since I've been here. He's the one, like I said, he would pick me up, brush me off, pat my back, and make sure I had everything I need <laughs> throughout all my time as athletic director. He's the guy. Love you, Lewis. <laughs> this is Jamie Bioff, my current cheerleading coach. And this is Jessica, Jessica Richard, and she is my former cheerleading coach. So both of them I had the privilege of working with. This is Jamie Lugo Robertson. She is actually a former basketball player of mine, but now we work together. She helps me with the park situation. When we have two or three soccer games at a time, I have to go to Jamie and ask to borrow their park field. Well, just recently, we have construction going on in the back with our softball field, so we had to move all of our regional games over to the city park. Jamie's the one that helped me do this. Jimmy Schmidt is the one that has helped me throughout all the years, and I believe that Jamie is helping him in this capacity as well, and she has done a marvelous job. The beauty of this is that she was one of my students, and now I'm working with her. You can't ask for more than that. <laughs> so this is Mr. Freeman. Mr. Freeman has been here for years, almost as long as I've been here. He's come and go. He manages a lot of our sports. He manages softball. He, uh, he's the head coach for softball, the head coach for boys basketball, and the head coach for girls volleyball. He, this is a man that puts his life into this school in all aspects and enjoys every moment of it. Next to him is Andrea Murphy. Andrea Murphy coached uh, girls softball here. She is a big part of getting these kids involved in sports through the athletics that uh, she teaches here in her classes. These are my future athletes yeah. that I get to watch grow from the stands this next couple of years. Eric ran the press box for me in football. Yeah. He, if we needed announcements done, he did announcements. If we needed equipment taken care of, it was done. I didn't have to come to school and wonder if I had to set up for football because Eric would go in my office and get my keys and go set everything up anyway. I relied on him. The beauty of it is it's going to carry over. He's going to Florida State and he's going to be their football manager. Yeah, so true. I'm so excited about that. Thank All you, right, Eric. Thank you. Jim Murphy, my right-hand man. When I needed something, I went to Jim. Jim took over for me when I was out. He would guide me through track and cross country. I love Jim. I love everything you did for these kids. And I want to say thank you to you. You're welcome. I'm not going away. <laughs> I'm not going away, but I'm going to be around. I'll be helping him coach instead of being the director of what he's doing. And I'm really excited about that. We have two young ladies here that are prime examples of why we started individual sports. Ms. Hannah Zeal, she is a swimmer. She's also a weightlifter. And I believe, did you participate in cross country one year? Track. Track. Okay, and then I have Miss Oriana here, who is my three-time visitor up in the state championship for weightlifting. She's both graduating and I'm just Aiden Child. Aiden is my skinny runner that won the seven mile bridge run in the, as, his, as a junior. He's also been in and out of my office as an intern. He's the man I have to watch on the soccer field. He's a tough guy. He seems to be very mild and always the best sportsmanship, not. Every now and then I have to pull him back by his collar, but I love him to death. I love the smile, and you've grown a couple inches since the last time I've been next to you, huh? Yep. 
We've got Mr. Walters, and we have Shannon. Swim and swim. First over here we have Jesse Schubert, who is the coach of both the girls and boys weightlifting program. And we have Mac Childress, who is the head football coach for our varsity football program. Big Bear has helped me close deficits with his uh, dinners here. He's done a great job on the football field with the kids. Everybody loves Chef. If you're not on the field coaching, you can come in here and eat. And that's the best part. I've always been his eating guinea pig for his food, and I enjoyed it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. The biggest and best part of my teaching is when family members follow in your footsteps. And Kelly is my niece who I had to tell to become a teacher. Basically. And then assigned her a couple of coaching jobs that were empty, which she loved. And now she's with us full time. <laughs> and I love the fact that she's in my life here at Marathon High because I was in her life so much when she was little. But she is absolutely amazing and we're forming her. She's still young, <laughs> but uh, aren't they all? The cafeteria staff are the most important people to me in this entire school. They keep me alive. So that young lady back there is awesome. She feeds the kids daily. She does a great job. Of all the cafeteria workers, Miss Esmeralda has been here the longest. She knows me. Yeah. She's seen me up, she's seen me down, but she's kept me alive, like I told you. We have our cafeteria manager, and let me tell you, she's brought a whole new dynamic to the cafeteria. The food is good, and we love it. Actually, I have uh, been assigned as their uh, intern teacher now, so that just kind of happens at the end of the year when they're ready to to roll out like what John would say. He'll be rolling out and Keyshawn because they're both seniors. I get Steven back, I get Braylon back. Gee here, he's gonna be rolling out and I get Mr. Ross back. Here's a funny note, I taught Anthony Ross's dad. If that put an age on me or what? This is my son, Parker Conrad. He is the last of my children that are coming through Marathon High School. He's involved in all sports, football, basketball, and baseball. And I love him dearly. This is my favorite principal. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> We're gonna miss her too, lots and lots and lots, but she's not gone forever. That's she's right. only changing positions. So we're gonna be using it in our school and you know, she's not getting away. Both of these guys help me out a lot. They coach soccer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Patty. Patty is one of my favorite people because she has to basically cover when I'm out. And it's difficult sometimes finding all the coverage that I need, but she regulates all my time in and out and I'm a hard person to keep up with, so thank you, Patty. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. This is Katrina Wyatt. She was able to share the 2012 soccer success season with me because her daughter played with my daughter. She's been a big supporter and a big follower. So Katrina, I love you for that. Thank you. Oh, love you too, Teresa. <laughs> Thanks. So to the marathon community, my sister, my husband, and all of you, my kids. And when I say my kids, not just my three kids, my kids that live in this community that are 40 years old now, to the kids that I see on a daily basis. I love you all, and I wanna say thank you for all the wonderful years. I'm not leaving, I'm just leaving this position. I'll still be in the school. Along with John Dick, I wanna thank all of the school board members and all of the district administration. You guys have supported Marathon High School, you've seen the needs, and you have listened to us as well. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you.